Hey taters, this is Tree from TreeofLogic.com. So yeah, I just got around to critiquing this um, cover from the New Yorker. I know it went viral two days ago. I'm just now getting around to making a video about it. You know I was going to do this. Now listen, I those of you, the conservative women, women who are conservative on the right, right leaning, please understand that this is what the liberals look like. This is what liberal women are all about. Okay. This is them to the T. The New Yorker is a liberal rag. They actually have covers like this in the past. I think this was for uh, two years ago. We have Colin Kaepernick with Martin Luther King. Are you serious? I don't even know who this guy is, but this, this is going to show you what the type of of uh, liberal content you're looking at so don't don't take don't take this too seriously but we're about to dissect it or th let's not oh honey ooh, mm, that's all i gotta say <laughs> so you <laughs> you get an understanding of what you're looking at when you see this okay so uh basically let's critique this so let's start with the entire uh cover Clearly, this woman is living in either a studio apartment or a one-bedroom apartment. I don't even know what, how you would... Maybe, maybe it's just... Uh, I'm going to have to say studio or one room because this is her bed right here. Okay, this is her bed. And this is a partition or divider that's dividing her living, dining space from her bedroom and here's the kitchen right here so she stays in a very very small place with two cats two cats in this small space girl how can you do it let's look up here look at it look three bottles of wine so she get her drink on all right she gets her drink on and uh and, and by the way i am not i know i know i don't drink and I'm not going to judge uh, anyone who does drink, but three bottles, girl, three, three bottles. She's Louise. Let me something I don't like. It's the open box of cereal. That's just trifling. How are you going to have uh, the the the, the cereal is going to get stale? You just have it on top of the cereal. To have it on top of the refrigerator where it open like that. Oh my goodness. Of course, dirty dishes. And I told you ladies, uh, all my conservative ladies, uh, right-leaning ladies, I told you, I said, listen, take advantage of the entire COVID thing to uh, perfect your skills at homemaking and start with your own home. You're in there all day, so it should be immaculate. It should be clean. You should not have not one dirty dish in the uh, sink. And so look at all this. The four, she stays there by herself. Of course, she's entertaining herself. Uh, it looks like she's having a date. Look like this is a that. Yeah, it looks like this is an online date thing going on right now. And um, <laughs> she got all the dishes. And this is trifling. Men do not. I, I hope men don't want this. Okay, you can always know you. I, I'm a. I, I I really pride myself on clean, keeping a clean home. And you can always tell, like, I can tell if you're busy, you can have a, a dish in there from yesterday. But you're in the house all day. There's no excuse for you having dirty dishes. And men don't want to come home to a house with dirty dishes. You've been in there all day? Ugh! Okay, let's see some other stuff here. Um, so... Uh, of course, you don't know the race of this woman. It, I, it doesn't matter. I know it doesn't matter. But the thing about it is, is they, they do it this way on purpose. Uh, sh but she got her drink on. She makes sure she's drinking. And it she has a laptop on. Oh, God. Look at this. Uh, can you guys see that? Yeah, you can see that. Look at this. You have... <laughs> she has Chinese delivery... And that's even open. Now, I don't know if this is fresh and she was, I don't know if she was eating this while on her date. Um, but okay. Pills. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure this is some kind of pills for the um, uh, mental stability, you know. Uh, these people love bragging about their type of psychological uh, medication that they're on. Okay, so let's look at her. Let's look at her. Okay, so she is. She has a very nice top, but 
um, wow, she's not taking care of herself, so she has a lot of stubble on her legs here <laughs> with her shirt. So, you know what? I, I would be so scared to do this because what if you have to get up for any reason? What are you going to do? Like, if you stand up and only thing is the, the top part of your body looks nice, but the rest of your bottom half looks like a hot mess, so you you need to shave your legs. That's not sexy, not sexy at all. And your top doesn't, is not as, I mean, your bottom is not as nice and presentable as your top. Um, she has her phone in her hand. That's a bad habit uh, a lot of women don't realize is that it's pretty rude when you are on a date with a man and you're, you, you can't depart from your phone. You have to have your phone. She's in her own house and she still cannot concentrate on the date that she's having through Zoom or Skype or whatever. And she she has her phone. Oh my God. Take notice. Take notes. Take notice. They're conservative women. Do not this. Do not be this. Do not do this. All right. Don't. Don't. So let's go down a little further. And this floor, ew, this is the worst part of the picture, if you ask me. Well, first of all, she's getting a lot of delivery from Amazon.com. Um, I don't know why. And uh, look at everything that's on the floor. So let's start from this side right here. So this is a pile of stacks of uh, papers. She has her mail on the floor. Uh, her cat is right beside her, which is a, hey, little kitty, kitty. Uh, her weights, weights do belong on the floor, so I, that's, that's supposed to be there. Um, but she has a cup on the floor. It's, it looks like a sippy cup, but it looks like just, um, a cup that has, a, this looks like a spoon or something. So she probably was either eating ice cream or she was eating soup and she just put it on the floor instead of the trash can. Or maybe the floor is the trash can. I have no idea. I can't tell these days. You know what I'm saying? But this is the worst thing about this. She has her mask on the floor. You know what I'm saying? Did you have your mask on the floor? Like, ew. And this is what this is what I know is going to happen. When she leaves, she's going to take this off the floor and put it on her face. And you know that's what they do, okay? You know what that's what they do. They take the they take the mask and they go, okay, I'm just putting it on my face, whatever. You know, it's all right, la 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 la. Okay, here we have more takeout on the floor, and uh, this looks like hand sanitizer. So I think that is hand sanitizer, and of course the gloves. And uh, what would this be? I I don't know what that would be. If you guys have any idea what this would be. Uh, let me know in the comment section. I have no idea. I can't even, I can't even guess. And I have no idea what that is either. I want to say a perfume bottle. Wait a minute. In the kitchen, she even got stuff on the floor in the kitchen. She got her bags. Uh, looks like grocery bags on the, on the floor and the toilet. Why is, is this either toilet paper or paper towels? Either way, it's not supposed to be on the floor. This is the kind of girl. Listen, guys, listen. If you want to know what type of woman you're going to deal with, just come over to her house. Now, now sometimes they'll prepare for it ahead of time, but if you really get real comfortable with her, just show up. I know this is going to make them mad, but just show up and say, hey, I'm, I'm down the street. Uh, can I come over real quick? You know, because there's no, <laughs> there's no way somebody's going to be able to clean all this up in a matter of uh, 10 minutes. That's not even possible. And of course, uh, she got the Cheetos bag uh, over here. And here's one last thing um, that I don't know what this is right here either. But here's one last thing that I think is just disgusting right here. This is a litter box. By the way, I used to have cats. My last cat passed away. <laughs> I think it's 2009. I miss her. But I didn't get another cat after that because I'm constantly traveling and doing my own thing. So the thing about it is, is that this is a litter box. So I know that is. So she has that. Instead of having it in the bathroom, she has it in the living room. With, uh, oh, <laughs> Smell, and she, no wonder she, no, no, no wonder 
she got all these bottles of wine, okay? When you have all these bottles of wine, you got to do something to, to to pretend that there's not a smell from the cat over here in this litter box. And she eats a bunch of junk food, so you got the Cheetos bag down here. And they're saying that, oh, this is the picture of the today's woman. Not me. This is not any woman I know either. Okay, we, t- t- ladies, this is what I'm talking about. Don't be this. This is what liberal women are all about. Feminist women are all about. This is what they basically live their life and want men. Accept me who I am, baby. Take me as I am. But you would not accept this from a man. I know I wouldn't. If a man lived like this, I'd be be so disgusted. I wouldn't even want to deal with him. So understand, if you would not accept this from a man, why should he accept this from a woman? Okay? And if you want to know, out of all the things on this uh, cover that makes me give it a side eye, I would say, um, hmm, hold on a second. I would have to say... It would be the medication over here on the left. This girl is pretty young. She looks like, in my opinion, she looks like she's in her early 20s, like 24, 25. And so my thing is, is that what's this is for, you know? I guess you can say that we're in a society right now where the world is not of relying on you to take care of your mental health and your physical health. And so, hey, big farmers here, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, this is something, I wanted to do this video because I wanted to show you how we should look at ourselves and learn from, look at ourselves and, you know, fix our flaws, but also learn from other people's mistakes. I don't know any, um, well, I only have like, two friends that are liberal and they're not friends i don't say they're acquaintances we're not really uh friends i mean i don't there's a lot of things i don't talk to them often i don't tell them so we're acquaintances we probably talk like mm, once or twice a month or something like that but yeah they live like this they love this and they they expect a man to basically accept them who they are even if they're home all day okay they they should live like this because this is life that's what they tell me. But we as conservative women, and I'm just sorry, we just, I, I'm, my home right now, right now, looks nothing like this. There's not even, there's probably one cup in my sink right now. And I just got back from a uh, vacation not too long ago. So you would think that my house should be, you know, dirty too, but it's not. Because practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect, and I want you ladies to to start keeping up. There's no need just because there's you're not going on a date doesn't mean you don't keep your grooming etiquette up. You know what what's what's that about anyway? But um, that's I, I know some of you are probably saying, "Wow, Tree, you're pretty hard on her." But I was I was raised better than this. You know, I was raised better than this, and and uh, I I just I guess you could say I take care of my home because it's a reflection of me. So there's that. But hey, maybe you're into this. Maybe you're not. I'm not sure. I would love to hear what you have to say in the comment section below. And uh, be sure to give this a thumbs up. And I will see you all next video. Later, taters.